Good morning. This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage, and we are at a job in Greensboro this morning. So let's take a quick look. She's got some major problems here with the crawl space flooding, and you see she's already got drainage here. This corrugated pipe goes into the ground and doesn't come out anywhere. And so what happens is all that water ends up underground somewhere and not flowing where it needs to be. So we're going to put in some solid pipe, catch these two gutters, take it out here to the sidewalk. This gutter is doing okay here, but the ground is sloping back into the foundation. So just look at all this moss and evidence of moisture here. So as part of this job, we're going to pull, bring in some dirt and just slope this away. We're going to take this gutter and put it into a nice concrete spillway and get it to slope away from the house. You can see all the water damage there. The sump pump discharge line has been chewing up the ground right here. So we're going to fill that in. We're going to cut this across here, clean it up a little bit, get that to where it'll flow nicely. And this last gutter, same thing, it's going into the ground and not, doesn't come out anywhere. So all that water coming off the roof is being sent straight into the ground and who knows where it comes out or if it comes out. So we're going to do an above ground pipe across here and just going to dump it right here on the driveway somewhere. We don't have any issues with water along here and the driveway slopes down and out. So we've got some above ground rated pipe that we're going to use for that. There's a couple of holes here in the backyard we're going to fill in because I brought in a bunch of dirt. Looks like my headlights are still on.
I just cut this pipe and I wanted to show you this corrugated, it just, it holds water. The water can't flow through it, clogs up, backs up, and floods whatever's around it. So that's, you just don't use this stuff. I've got this pipe laid in here. We didn't really have much of a choice because we're gonna hit concrete over here, so we can't go any deeper than this. So we had to come up over here to get us some good fall. So we're gonna come across. I didn't include it in the in the job, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this with a sanitary tee right there, just to just to give it some angle and uh, send it in the right direction. So I want to tamp this down. The siding goes all the way down to the ground, so I don't necessarily want to bury it. And you've got this dryer vent too. I'm not sure if that's working or not, but I think if I, think if I build up this wall here, that'll hold that pipe in place pretty good. So let's get this tamped down. We included bringing in some fill dirt for some low spots in this yard, but there's our pipe here. Caught it into a little sanitary tee there just to get it directed away. This is our sump pump discharge, and this was the existing concrete spillway, so I'm just going to cut it across there to try to clean it up a little bit. And we're going to fill in this low spot right here and just reorient that. So let me get that done. This sump pump line is coming out under a lot of pressure. So, I'm just going to extend it out a little bit, but I don't have to really worry too much about, about stuff getting clogged up in there. So I just want to clean this up a little bit. So I think I'm just going to put this little 45 on there, and that will force the water into the spillway there. That looks a little bit better. I'd probably pull straight out that way and just back it straight in. I don't think this this truck will, I don't think it'll cut that far. That looks good. water from the gutters just the water from the gutters you're taking all this water yeah. concentrating it and just slamming it into a corrugated pipe it's got nowhere to go and it's just this whole area here was just a seat bed like a soaker hose yep exactly and that's the opposite of what you want 
you want to carry it, they call it to daylight. Concrete stuck to the bottle, so now the bottle's stuck. I'm, uh, I'm cut the top off. That was pretty funny, hatcheting a water bottle. Casey just finished up with this, and that looks fantastic. Right in line with that retaining wall. We got the front of the house sloping away. I've got to get a connector there to aim that water back. When we dug up some of this corrugated, we found that it was just slammed full of mud and water and everything else. So this pipe is quite heavy right here. And all that water just sits underground and leaks out of the pipe into the foundation. Like a soaker hose, Mike says. So. Our hose won't reach, so we're going to dump some water here. So go ahead, Mike. See how we did. That's like a pouring down rain. Pouring down rain. So our systems carry the water through a solid pipe all the way to the curb or wherever they're not going to be a problem anymore. So just that quick, any water that gets in that pipe is going to be sent out here to the curb and is far, far away from the foundation. Don't use corrugated pipe and don't send that water into your foundation. Use solid pipe and carry the water somewhere where it's no longer a problem.